potential in the area. Hey, News. Yeah, good morning, guys. Gina Rossi is so talented. You know, I live in the Midtown area, so I walk around. I've seen her bike racks all throughout the region. Let me tell you, she has some amazing work. I looked her up, and I can't even tell you how cool her shop is. It is so cool. Let's talk more to Gina here as she works on her dragon. Gina, you do some amazing work. Uh, first of all, how long did it take you to do this? How long have you been working on wow. this? Wow. Well, I've been working on this for probably about almost uh, almost about eight months, almost about a year. Wow, look at that. Since I've been working on it, and uh, it's all done out of recycled metal. Uh, so, you know, usually when I kind of have a concept like this, a dragon, my first vision is I just want to. I want to be able to do a dragon, and then it's almost like at that point just thinking outside the box and being able to use recycled metal to kind of make your vision and your creativity kind of come come alive. Okay, what makes me laugh about this, I asked you before the segment, I said, oh, you must have to map this out. There's a lot of details here. You say you don't map it out at all? No, no, I don't. Again, I just, I, I kind of just have this uh, initial vision. And then in my mind, I think, okay, I want to be able to go into my toy box and, and use all of the various recycled metal and kind of put things together. And I think at the end of the day, I want to make this piece the most unique. And I also want it to be a conversational piece in which people can look <laughs> at that and say, oh, that's a bolt. Oh, no, that's kind of a gear. Sure. And it just ignites conversation. Now, what's it like to go around the city and see your work out there? Everyone's using your work because you have bike racks you have a lot of work around the city yeah uh, you know it's an honor and I feel very blessed to be able to be a part of it it's like this giant gallery however I look at some of my pieces and it's neat because I can say oh this is kind of where I got started uh, and and you want to kind of keep working on it and working on it but I just want to bring art functional art to the community and have everybody enjoy it but yet also lock up their bikes now you got a cool event coming up where people can actually come check out your work uh, how, how can people do that yeah so basically we've got the uh, Sacramento Studio Art Tour, which is going to be in uh, the first uh, week of September. And basically, 200 artists open up their studio. I'm one of them. I'll be doing live welding. I'll be having students come in here and doing Weld and Go, where the little guys can come in, nine years old is the youngest, make some funky art <clears throat> and call it a day and just really have some, have some fun. And I'll be doing a lot of furniture fabrication and some unique uh, up and coming pieces. That is so cool. So, coming up next hour, we'll show you some more of her work. Uh, she's also going to make something for Good Day Sacramento. Ooh. And we'll tell you how your kids can get involved and learn from her. That's coming up next hour, guys. Oh, Back to you. That's amazing. Thanks, Deuce. Yeah.